Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass, and today we're going to be looking at Android Lollipop on the Nexus 5 and also on the Nexus 7. Now I've only recently got Lollipop on my Nexus 7, it missed out on the 5.0 update, but it's now been updated over the air to 5.0.1, whereas my Nexus 5 is still running 5.0. So today I'm just going to go over the differences and the similarities between the two different versions of Lollipop, because there are actually some differences between the Nexus 7 and also the Nexus 5. So, let's take a look. Now the first difference that you're going to see is on the actual home screens themselves. So you can see here on the Nexus 5, you've got a completely new layout that looks completely different to what we've had previously, although it does kind of look a little bit similar to what we had with KitKat. Whereas on the Nexus 7, it's kind of gone back to how it used to look with maybe Jelly Bean before it got the update to KitKat. And what I mean by that is there's black bars on the status bar and also the navigation keys, which you don't get on pretty much any other Nexus device. The Nexus 9 and also the Nexus 6 look exactly the same as the Nexus 5 in terms of the operating system, but for some reason the Nexus 7 has been slightly left behind. That trend continues when you go into the app drawer for each device. And you can see here that on the Nexus 5 you've got the new material design with the very nice white background, whereas on the Nexus 7, like I mentioned, it looks very much like it used to with Jelly Bean. You've got the apps and then you've got a separate category at the top to get to the widgets. Now the widgets on the Nexus 5, they're handled from the actual home screen itself. So you tap and hold on the home screen and you get access to wallpapers, widgets and also settings. Now if you do the same thing on the Nexus 7, all you do is a menu down the bottom where you can change the wallpaper and nothing else. So it's very disappointing to see that for some reason the operating systems don't really coincide with one another. One thing that I'd like to say as well as on the Nexus 5, I only have one home screen of applications. If I slide across, it doesn't go anywhere. If I need to get another home screen, I need to then add a new app or a new widget to the other home screen and it will then be there for me. Again, on the Nexus 7, I've got five home screens, which unfortunately you can't change. So again, I've got five different home screens here. If I press the home button, go straight back into the middle one. So again, it does look completely different. The dock as well does look different. You've got a dividing line. The app draw icon looks different and also Google Now looks different as well. So just overall, it's not really as nice as I'd like it to be. Also on the Nexus 5, one of my favourite features is access to Google Now, straight from a swipe in from the left hand side. Again, if I do that on the Nexus 7, all it's going to do is take me over to my next home page. Now I can swipe up from the home button on the Nexus 7 and also on the Nexus 5 to get a similar effect, but again I'd like it to be a completely separate home screen. The settings and the notifications are exactly the same on both devices. So again, if you swipe down, you've got all the exact same information in here in terms of casting, the brightness, airplane mode, Bluetooth, etc. And you can also get access to the settings and also your different profiles. If I go down to the bottom of each, go into about phone and about tablet, you can see here that I'm running 5.0.1 on the Nexus 7, as I mentioned previously, and 5.0 on the Nexus 5. So overall guys, I'm not really that impressed with Lollipop on the Nexus 7. Now don't get me wrong, it does seem to run slightly smoother and you do get all the additional features of Lollipop, so the battery saver mode and everything is still there, but it doesn't look as nice as I'd like it to. But there is one way to get around that and what you need to do is download the Google Now Launcher. Once you've done that, you can set it as your primary home screen. Now I'm using the default launcher on the Nexus 7, so for me I've got to go into my settings, go into where it says home, and then change it to the Google Now Launcher. Then when I go back to my home screen, you can see that the two devices now look pretty much identical. One thing that I can do is just change the wallpaper here on my Nexus 5, just to make it look a bit more similar for you guys. And again, when I then go back to my home screen, you can see that they pretty much look the same now. You've also got the ability to swipe in from the left-hand side to access Google Now on the Nexus 7. And it is a little bit slow and a little bit janky for some reason. Now, it does sort itself out and it does start to speed up a bit. But when you initially change the launcher on the Nexus 7, you can see there is a bit of a lag and a bit of delay when going through screens. Going into Google Now, you can see the frame rate isn't exactly where it should be, as opposed to what you're going to be getting on the other side on the Nexus 5. So overall guys, Lollipop is really a great operating system. I love it on my Nexus 5, and now that I've got the Google Now launch on my Nexus 7, it looks and feels exactly like the latest version of stock Android. Let me know what you guys think of the Nexus 7 running Lollipop, and if you've actually got the download yet, because for me it took quite some time. 
I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass with a quick look at a comparison between Android Lollipop on the Nexus 5 and the Nexus 7 and I will catch you guys in the next video.